Far in the north, in the harsh waters of the Arctic, a real tragedy took place that caught the world's attention. Ten orcas, including four little calves, found themselves in a deadly situation. Chasing their prey, they got trapped and ended up stuck among thick ice. The sea surface, which had recently been free of ice, quickly froze and became a true icy prison. This happened due to a sudden cold snap caused by a strong Arctic cyclone. The unfortunate orcas were trapped in a small open water patch surrounded by thick ice. The animals couldn't free themselves and began to panic, which could have led to their death. The first to notice something was wrong were local fishermen. They heard loud sounds coming from afar. These were the orcas hitting the ice and their plaintive cries for help resembling the cry of a child. The fishermen immediately realized that the marine animals were in great trouble and reported it to the local authorities. One of the fishermen remembered a similar incident that occurred several years ago. Back then they failed to save the graceful marine predators. He knew they had to act quickly. The news quickly spread across all TV channels. People around the world anxiously followed the developments. Many expressed their willingness to help the distressed orcas in any way possible. Within a few hours, scientists, marine rescuers, and volunteers arrived at the scene. They knew there was little time and began to act without delay. A large-scale rescue operation was organized. Dr. Angelica Green, a leading marine biologist, led the scientific team. She quickly assessed the situation and developed an action plan. The rescuers brought heavy equipment and special saws. Their first task was to widen the open water area and create a path to the open sea for the orcas. A team of engineers developed a special system to distribute the load of the equipment on the ice. This prevented it from breaking through and sped up the work. A small icebreaker began to break the ice from the ocean side, creating a safe passage for the orcas and slowly approaching them from the open water side. Volunteers and biologists stayed close to the animals at all times. They supported the orcas, trying to ensure they had access to oxygen. People poured water on the trapped animals to keep their skin from drying out. Maria, a young volunteer, noticed that one of the calves was especially scared. She started singing a soft song to it, which calmed the little one a bit. The rescuers used powerful saws, metal stakes, and other tools to cut through the ice around the orcas where the icebreaker couldn't reach. People created small holes in the ice to allow the animals to breathe. Then these holes were gradually expanded and connected. The work was very tough. The ice was thick and dense, making it difficult to break through. It required great effort and coordinated work from the whole team. Despite the fatigue, no one gave up. Experienced rescuer Mark suggested using special heaters to warm the water around the ice. This helped speed up the melting process. Temporary tents were set up on the shore near the site where people could rest and warm up between work shifts. Volunteers and local residents brought hot drinks and food for the rescuers. The locals actively offered their help. They shared their extensive knowledge about ice behavior and animals in Arctic conditions. Unfortunately, the weather was getting worse by the hour. Strong wind and snowfall made the rescuers work even harder. The water and air temperatures were dropping lower and lower, and the conditions became extreme. But this didn't stop the determined team. At that moment, Peter van der Wolf, a Dutch environmentalist and conservation expert, arrived at the scene. Peter had been living in the north for many years, working on various conservation and protection projects. When he learned about the orca's situation from his colleagues, Peter immediately offered his help. His experience working in the harsh conditions of the far north was invaluable for the rescue operation. Meteorologists warned of an approaching storm. This meant the rescue team had even less time left. Using his knowledge of the local climate, Peter helped develop a strategy for operating under the impending storm conditions. Using his connections, Peter also arranged a live broadcast from the scene for several international news channels. This helped attract additional resources and support from around the world. The rescue teams worked day and night without interruption, only changing shifts to rest a bit. They broke a path through the ice, trying not to harm the animals. Scientists managed to set up special pumps to prevent the water in the open patch from freezing, allowing the orcas to breathe freely. Engineers designed a unique system for heating the water in the open patch. This helped maintain a temperature comfortable for the orcas. 
Peter and the team of biologists, relying on their experience in ecological projects, helped properly set up the equipment to avoid accidentally harming the marine captives. The rescuers installed special lights around the open patch. This allowed them to work at night, without distractions. The lights also helped ensure the safety of all participants in the operation during the dark hours. Engineers connected several solar panels to power the lights, so they charged during the day and worked reliably at night. Veterinarians closely monitored the animal's condition. They provided necessary assistance. One of the calves received a small wound from the sharp edges of the ice. The doctors immediately provided first aid on the spot. Dr. Lisa Chin, the leading veterinarian, developed a special diet for the weakened orcas. This helped sustain their strength during the rescue operation. Drones were used for additional monitoring of the situation. They coordinated the actions of the entire team and monitored progress in the work. One of the drones transmitted an image showing the orcas huddled together at a critical moment as if supporting each other. As night fell, the air temperature dropped sharply. There was a threat of the equipment freezing. The rescuers quickly responded and used thermal blankets and insulating materials to protect the generators and pumps from the severe frost. A team of mechanics worked around the clock to keep the equipment operational despite the extreme conditions. After two days, the most powerful heaters that could be found were delivered to the rescue operation site. Their continuous work helped speed up the ice melting. This significantly eased and sped up the rescuers' work. Local authorities organized the delivery of additional fuel for the heaters and other equipment by helicopter, allowing the team to work without interruption. On the fifth day of the rescue operation, the volunteers noticed that the orcas started moving more actively thanks to the much larger free space around them. This was a good sign. The animals began to regain their strength and prepared to break free. Biologists conducted underwater filming, confirming the improved condition of the orcas. This gave all participants in the operation a new surge of energy. With additional pumps and heaters, the rescuers managed to widen the passage through the ice. An icebreaker worked nearby, breaking a path to the long-awaited freedom for the marine animals and preventing the ice from freezing over again. When the last ice barrier was broken, joy engulfed everyone. The orcas, which had been in danger for several days, slowly but surely moved towards the open water. All the participants in the operation felt their titanic efforts had finally paid off. At that moment, something incredible happened. Early in the morning, when everyone was very tired, the first adult orca finally broke through to the open water. Once free, the marine animal immediately let out a loud, joyful cry, as if calling its kin to follow it. This amazing moment was met with applause and cheers, and it was recorded on video, quickly spreading online and sparking a wave of support from around the world. Encouraged by the success, the teams continued their work with renewed vigor. One by one, the other orcas gradually broke free. With people closely watching and helping the poor creatures so they wouldn't hurt themselves on the sharp edges of the ice in a hurry. It took several more hours to free the last largest orca, as the narrow passage in the ice wasn't enough for it, and people had to help it with all their might. When the last animal finally broke free, the whole team nearly cried with joy. They were happy to have accomplished the nearly impossible and, thanks to their coordinated efforts, freed all the animals trapped in the ice. The rescue of the orcas became an important reminder of the need to take care of nature and that each of us plays a serious role in its preservation.